I'm just looking at the car right now. I'm loving the running board. I'm loving it. I like the way it looks. Uh, yeah, I like the way it looks. I'm thinking that when I look at the picture, uh, I'm very happy with what I got going on. Um, when, when this shape here, if I took this shape here and made it so round here, I would lose this shape. I want this shape, and that's why it's come off sharp like that, because I want that shape there. And if we looked on the car, the original car, the shape that they have is not compromised by the outside of the round fender either. It's very sharp right down in there, as you can tell, very sharp just as sharp as we have it or sharper and then it gets the fenders round up there that's no problem they want that shape that goes around like this instead of this shape going around the fender and that's what I've done if I compromised this shape for this shape this shape would you know we're kind of losing that shape of this and that's what I want there also as you can tell when I put this third piece on this piece wrapped around that fender a little bit this wrapped around the fender that little bit, which give it a gradual as we got going on there, and it will gradually run into the running board. I'm happy with the, I'm happy with it all, to be honest with you. I'm just would like to have it all welded up and all done, but that's not the case. Just look, kind of left it there. I got Jolene to weld up the fender last night. I got her to weld up some of the roof last night, and I kind of just sat back and watched. But anyways, as I got this running board on here, the video today is is I want to put the running board and that piece on today. I, I don't want to stop until it's done, until I got all the metal cut, until I got the, the exhaust pipe done, until I got them pieces on, got the round, round rod in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it over and I'm going to go for it. If I don't talk a lot, it's because I'm, I'm going to want to try to get it done. And uh, if I talk too much sometimes, sometimes things don't get done as fast as you can. But I'm very happy with, with the way it's going. Uh, once the running board is on the other side, I am going outside probably, and I will pick the chassis that we're going to use or do some measuring. I've got a couple chassis out there. I have one in mind that I want to use. But uh, that's when the chassis will come in, and what will happen is, is the body will be cut off, and then most likely the chassis will go on the frame table, and then the body goes back on again, um, basically. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm going to try to put that running board on as fast as I can. We're almost at 80,000 subscribers, and I want to thank everybody. Wow, that's big. That's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. It tells me that uh, a lot of people um, are interested in what we're doing, and we're doing good stuff. If we're going forward, that means we're doing good stuff because there, there's no lying involved. We're, we're showing you as we do it, and um, you can do it just as well as I can. This is kind of you go by eye. You do a little bit of measuring. And, and go for it, and do not let anything, because I've messed up many times, do not let anything stop you from doing what you want to do. First thing I'm going to do is, I get thinking about this over my head, is I want to take this running board and put it on the other side. I want this piece, this piece, and I have that piece. I have this piece for the running board, that piece for the running board, so that'll help me to get the other side done quicker. I want, this is the the lady's shoe that goes on the fender on this side. Looks good there. Uh, this is the little piece that I put in because the metal I had put across there, I kind of, I did. I cut it too short. I tried to bend it over there. It didn't look good. So this is the piece that I added to fill it in. There you go. That's the piece I added. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this one away. I want to make that out of one piece because I butt weld it there. It can be butt welded again and roll back on the top. I just had to have this shape here, that's all, and I can connect it to the round rod. So I'm going to make that piece right now. I'm going to take my 3D printer. We're going to make that piece. It always helps to have dirty hands. I have to ask Jolene every time before we start, is my face dirty? Oh no, sweetheart. Oh no. Oh no, it's not dirty. And let's be honest, if you're, if you're not dirty, you're not building a car. <laughs> if you're not dirty, you're not building a car. Let's, let's, get, let's get real. Draw that one on there. 
I know this all works on this side. What I'm hoping is to make it faster on the other side. Is that this piece that is made here will work on the other side. That's what I'm hoping. And that's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. So what I'm trying to do is copy this piece so I can transfer it onto a piece of metal quicker and have one piece there. I, you know, that, that, this one here is my, my uh, learning process. This one here is my experience. And me having it on the table, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the measuring of the old ruler stick is somewhat the same on both, you know? It has to be somewhat the same. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big, I don't, you know, it doesn't have to be absolutely laser straight, not at all. It just has to satisfy the eye and be reasonable. That's all I ask. I don't ask any more than that. Satisfy the eye and be reasonable. I want nothing in my, in my building cars to slow me down, if you know what I'm trying to say. Anything that I would use to build a car is I'd want whatever I could do the job with the quickest. I generally do not use a lot of little tools. And I'll tell you why I don't use little tools. It's, it's for smaller work. Like, I don't use a small grinder. Like, um, yeah, I just don't use a lot of smaller tools. This is my piece. 3D printed that. I did. Anyways, we'll put that up there. That's my piece. Um, let's cut them in metal right now. Let's get started on cutting them out for the metal. Remember, this is just a test for me. Not for you. For me. This is a test for me how fast I can get that done. Hmm. And that's the end of the story. That's what the video was about. This is what the video is about. Once you become good at something, how fast can you become? How fast can you become? I always think of that uh, the movie me and Jolene watched. Um, the McDonald brothers there, where they did McDonald, McDonald's and to serve. You have to really think about it nowadays. You really you stop and think about it. When you go somewhere and you get a burger at McDonald's, you really stop, have to stop and think. How, how are they producing that so fast? You know, you really have, you know, you really have to think about that. Or I do anyways. How do you produce that so fast? I mean, it's, ex it's, it's explained, I know, but... It really is amazing how fast someone can be satisfied with some food at McDonald's or anywhere's Dairy Queen. We like Dairy Queen. We like them all, you know, or we used to since, since, since me old, <laughs> we won't go there. Anyways, we used to. <laughs> Anyways, let's cut this lady shoe out here. Hope I didn't cut it shy there. I cut a little bit shy. But we, we have a coat hanger. I don't rely on the coat hanger, but I don't forget about them. If you know what I'm trying to say, I do not try to let that slow me down in that process. So if I can get this running board on here in, in one day, or get it shaped up and get all that pieces on, that means the rest of the day I can stand back and take a look at how many hours work on camera? It's just 16. This is the 16th time that we've done a video on it. So I'm saying, well, you know, we'll allow, you know, wh whatever. We'll allow, say, 25 hours. We'll, that we'll, get, we'll be able to stand back and take a look at it and see what we have done in the amount of time that we've had. I'm just wondering if I would tell the customer when he bring me in the picture or bring me in this little toy, I'm just wondering if I, told, if I told him I could build him that in 25 hours or 30 hours. I wonder if I told him that, if he would believe me. <laughs> I don't even believe myself, to be honest with you. Like, but, you know, the proof is in the pudding, I guess. We have put um, time in on off-camera doing welding and grinding. We have done that.
the lady shoe for the other side. Move like that, we'll clean that up. All right, we'll take the 3D print printed piece. Get back here. Uh, markers right there. Piece of metal. I'm gonna take it on this piece of metal. I'm gonna roll it. That one's that one's 20 gauge, I think, or whatever. I don't like that. I don't want that one. The other one's 18, so I'm gonna stick with it. We got a mix up in a sheet one time. I used it, and I would use it in certain areas. I guess there's there's areas for every that for every piece of metal. There's areas where you where you use it, like a 20 gauge. You would use it in certain areas. I just on the body. I just I've always used 18, and I like to stick with it. Uh, the thinner metal would be for the thinner cars, you know. I'm, I'm working on the older cars. Jolene bought me some new knee pads. Get on your knees, she said, and get that done. What, baby? That made you laugh? That's good. Jolene looks fantastic this morning. A little top heavy, but <laughs> must be the shirt. Uh, knee pads are on, new knee pads. Get another piece made here. Got some more exhaust pipe so we can run the other side. We didn't have another long enough piece of exhaust pipe to do that. So we, I don't want these on there with that paper. Hard to deal with. Mistake, mistake. Just wanted to wipe off the metal, I guess. Let's see if I know how to cut that so A couple nice little magnets would be nice, but we're all right. Just don't let it move, that's all. Don't you move. It's shaky this morning. Only had one cup, two cups of coffee. All right. I'm saying that's our 3D, 3D printed piece. Put my gloves back on. And the reason why I'm trying to work, well, I suppose I generally try to that, but we're going to get that running board on the other side is what we want. Now we have the opportunity to roll this the right way. Last time when we had that on there, you remember, right? We transferred it wrong because it was rolled wrong. Then we roll this the other way. I'm just hoping the customer be, would be pleasantly surprised coming in the next week and seeing see the car. Uh, that'd be funny, would it not? Wow, good job. Come on out, come on out, man. And if you're unable to make yourself laugh, you should try. Try to make yourself laugh, most definitely. All the time. I cut that little off on that line down there. I know I did. But see that line there? Hope I left enough. Not good, Chatty. Not good. But you know what I do? I got a coat hanger. Right? I got a coat hanger. I scope that it with the <laughs> Don't 
Don't want to bruise the metal up too much. If it does, that'll be fantastic. And if it doesn't, well, we'll just go back, go to plan B and make something that does work. Um, but here we go. We'll put these over here. I'm going to pull the car over towards you, Jolene. Ba, ba, ba. One more time to take back and take a look at it. I really like it. I don't. I love it. I will put some braces underneath from the square tubing over to this round pipe underneath on this. I'll probably show you that. But you can see on this car here, if you come on and take a look, has a, as I have this, this is a good opportunity, as I have this square up or square tubing welded to the car, it stops the door from coming open. People keep asking about the door. I'm going to explain it to you. When, when this is welded on, or before or after or whatever, there's going to be another piece of square tubing that goes on top of that, underneath that, three quarter inch probably, would it be inside the door. We will cut the door on top of that, unsnip the spot welds, we will pull the door off, the opening will still be there. It should not change because of the roof and because of this piece here, it cannot change, come apart or go back together. When we take it off, we'll make hinges so it'll be suicide. Suicide. So we're rocking, let's go do this. I'm gonna pull this table over. Hope I got enough round rod. Sometimes things get scarce because I use everything so quickly. This table's been great for this car to pull it back and forth. It's been awesome. I'm gonna leave that like that. Come over on this side. And what's, what's going on this side is what we have is we've got the fender welded on, Jolene welded the fender on. I ground a little bit of it. I got a little bit of grinding on the roof done, just a little bit. But now I gotta come in here put my exhaust pipe on, put my cross member across the front, skin it and make this. Where am I going first? Uh, going this piece. I'm hoping, <laughs> here we go again, I'm hoping, this is what I'm going to do. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Put that on there so we know that goes in there so we know the exhaust pipe fits in there we know we have to cut that out for the exhaust pipe and we know that's on an angle we'll cut that off first so i'm taking the other side obviously i would dare not to, you know i'm taking the other side to perform this side uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. this is another thing i want to show you you come on the back side of the fender there. We're six inches on the other side of the fender of the frame table. And we're doing the exact same thing on this side. And that's what the table's good for. <laughs> that's what the table's good for. And, um, you know, that's what the table's good for. Found this three pronger uh, electrical cord. Thank you very much. Found that too. Things are going good, man. Things are going good. You got her messed up already. I got to put this side over here. Can't have that side. You're on the wrong side. Messed up already. Got to transfer the sides. So this is the pipe here, and this one's the angle. I'm gonna. Just I need, plasma. I need the plasma cutter for this, I don't think. I don't think.
want the gap in there, that hood there, that's good. That good, maybe too much. Back some more. I'm gonna check this. Well, it shouldn't matter a whole bunch there that gives me penetration that gives me pe my gap in there gives me penetration on there when i when i give that gap there i like that gap it gives me nice penetration there weld that together nice uh, the exhaust pipe comes up in here i'm going to check this with the other side see if it's the same length it is it should be i love you jolene the same length all right, so that goes on there like that. Goes on like that. I could probably tack that there. I think I will. And the reason I'll tack that there because I don't have to do the back and forth thing. I don't have to do the back and forth thing with the, the level because what I'll do is I'll make this pipe or the exhaust pipe the exact same length. That's the exact same length. I'll weld it all on. Then when it connects up the front, then it should be the exactly the same or exact same width or exact same length. Weld it on the fender, the exact same place. That's what I'm doing. I'm hoping. I'm relying <laughs> on what, the work we've done before to get what we need to get done now. And that's the other side. And placing the car on the table, half right. I said half right. <laughs> you heard me. Half right. Want it flush with that. Welding material. I don't like how that's out there like that. I wonder if it's the other side like that, I wonder. I'm just gonna weld that on again. Gotta turn my gas on. Let's get our piece of pipe going. Not worry about that for now. It's held on there all right. Take my helmet off. Remember, trying to do this as quick as possible. Got a new piece of exhaust pipe. How fast can you become is what she's saying. How fast can you become? Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we, baby? Huh? Most of you just wanna see a running board on this side, that's all, isn't it? You just wanna see a running board. So if you get one side of your car, or one side of your truck done, or you get something done, or your car, or whatever, if you're, you know, going about it, and uh, you get one thing, I'm going to cut it six feet. I don't need that much, but I need some to go through the roller to get started. Uh, yeah, if you're working on a vehicle and you have one thing to do on one side and you have the exact same thing to do on the other side, you want to get that inspiration to say, I wonder how fast I can do the other side. You really do. And that's where I generally go sometimes. I got one side done. I want to see how fast I can do the other side. I do not know, this is what happened. This was the last roll that we did, and I got Jolene to mark it with a piece of tape in case, in case we cannot get it through. So we have to loosen it up and find out what the bend is. Because that right there should tell us the bend, I'm hoping. Ooh. Don't mess with me. I'll straighten the bearing out so the so the so the pipe will go through. Wow.
Doing a video right now. Please come back in a bit. <laughs> I want to introduce you to the camera. That's my daughter. Just a minute. Come on in and see me for a minute. Come on in and see the camera. <laughs> this is my daughter, Harley Wiley. She's taking off. Um, she got a big compliment today. You got it on your phone? Uh, Do you have it right there? Well, I deleted it. Are you... I would never delete a comment like that. Well, just a screenshot of it. You got a screenshot of it? Well, I deleted it. That's why I didn't. I don't understand. Do you still have it? I can pull it up, I guess. Okay, I want you to pull it up, please. Let's hear this. Let's hear this. Read it loud, please. Harley, if you could share my comments with your team, I would appreciate that. I've been teaching for 24 years, and I have witnessed and experienced amazing things from students, but this Kahoot will stand out for the rest of my career. It was tho so thoughtfully organized and well-supported. The questions followed with the attentional information was such a smart addition. I know that middle school students would simply love this. Your project is a great reminder of why I simply love my job. This is outstanding, and I applaud you for your resource. Thanks for being so amazing. Awesome. Good job. Thanks. See you later. Love you. Don't, Love you. Ba don't bow down. <laughs> Get up. Bye. See you later, everybody. Have a good day. So that's what Harley Wiley woke up to is a message from her school teacher. Uh, I want to give the hats off to her school teacher for throwing that out there because, you know, some probably some teachers don't, and, and more, more people need that sort of stuff, whether it's a big deal or a small deal. And some people need that sort of stuff, don't you know? You need that to go through life. Everybody needs it. What am I saying? Everybody needs it. Not all the time. That's being greedy, but once in a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thank all my people that watch. I want to thank you very much because, you know what? I wouldn't be doing it if you weren't watching. Yes, I would. Who am I kidding? Hoping that we're getting somewhat the same. I hope we're not overdone it, but... <laughs> Move this out. Yeah, so it was very nice for my daughter to get that compliment this morning. Would make anybody feel good, would it not? Made me feel good. It wasn't even my compliment. Just made me feel good that she's doing good, you know? Happy, proud sort of thing. Happy, proud father. This one's going through harder for some some reason, maybe, just don't want it to, Woo! who's your daddy, that's the bad boy right there, so we're going to cut it to length, where is that, gee that's a lot, a lot isn't it, is that the one we bent too much, we can get it right, Put her in. All right. I'm gonna check it on the other side. Scurrying now. Hey, scurrying. Just a little bit of that. No wonder it was harder. That's kind of too bad. I wonder what I did there. I must have did some square tubing or something after. If I jump on that and jam my hands, you know it and I know it. Back to the old tricks. Geez, I almost forgot. See, it's repeat, 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 you know? And we almost forgot the old trick. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna keep doing that way because that end's bent. I don't want to go. Oh, well, no matter. Who's your daddy? Chatty is. Looks pretty good to me. Whoop whoop. We'll square this end off. How you doing, Fina? She always gets <laughs> sad when Harley takes off. Don't she? Give for a minute, she don't. 
Where's your bed outside? Her bed's outside. Get on there. Get on there. Come on. Just gonna cut the the bed in here off. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to look at this little piece of fender that's sitting here, this little piece of fender. And I'm going to look on the other side and see how it's done, how far away it is. And I'm just going to guess. I'm going to guess. We look exactly right. And it seems to be sitting down with the bottom of the fender. So the exhaust pipe is about probably an eighth away right in line. And the eighth away is for the square tubing I'm going to connect it with, so we'll, we'll put this... Nope, I'm going to measure this one first and cut it off and put it in. Why wouldn't I do that? Because that one's already measured. Tells me how far to go back on that one. So we have the exact same length, you know, the exact same pitch. Hey. Try it one more time, just for. It should be fine. It should be fine. Awesome. I know we're running, but. tack this on the point again. Right now I got it tacked on the top. I can bend it in a little bit because I got a little gap going on there. I can bend it this way a little bit. I can bend it out this way a little bit. So I'm going to put a little more weld on the corner so it stays there half decent. That way there I can still bend it. I still got gap there. still got gap there. I can bend it in place. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to weld this in place. Flush. Actually, I got to see if I got the roll right. I just want to mark the top of the roll. I just iron her up, I guess. You know, iron her up. Flush. I don't want it. I'm gonna get flush in my there. That's what I want to do, I want to cut the suit a little bit. Flash that we weld in there, obviously. Did I get the, the right size 
That's going to come way back. It's going to come way back. I'm going to slice that. further. It does too. You see it in the, in the square tubing. You see it! I did too. On the other side, I cut this square tubing back. See how I got this? Should have noticed that. See how I got that over by the hood? I got to cut that back this way. Cut that and go back this way. That's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. Cutting, I remember doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some more, but I want to attack it before I start letting it go. I don't want to let it go. Good job, Teddy. Good job. Start connecting stuff. <laughs> talking but what has to happen is I have to draw a new line there well, that's okay making me happy Can get this here give me a new line give me a new line
Good, better. Or in there, like it's in there on that cow. See how that piece of metal can go in there now? And that's what I did on the other side. I let that go in. I did. I did. going down here and tack this on if I can because I like it no nope, I don't like it yet it's got to come up a bit just a second thanks sweetheart for holding that you're a scholar sweetheart my baby it'll just be a minute gotta go up higher I gotta go up higher. could do it right there that's actually bent up there a little bit I should have that down like that probably we'll do it there if we get a piece going in there just gonna put it there to hold it there that's what I'm gonna do put it there to hold it there Harley Wally made her dead proud. A daddy made her dead proud. There we go. That look still all right. Still all right, good to me. Ooh, this fits a good down here. Ooh, that fits good. I'm gonna have to check that. All righty. Flush cross there. Flush cross there. I'm in there a little bit, well, just a little tiny bit. See that? But. I've got, that, I've got this wrong on here already. I see that. See that turn? I'm going to do this. Come look on, on the, no, you can see it from the behind me. You come behind me, you can see. I'm going to tack that on there because I know I like that. See how that's turned in? That, that has to be turned. have to take this off. Now, we have to be rolled here. Why is that so hard to roll? Now I got her in place, I'll hook her on just like this. I can fix it. I'm scrambling, I know, but I'm trying to do as fast as I can. How much time left? We're at 45. We're at 45. You like that? What? Second now. Yeah. 
him. I actually would much want a little. Like that. Work. Ah! Come on, lady! <laughs> it's like, I'll get this one tacked up here and I'll worry about that one later. Get that in there. Worry about that later. Hold your tongue, right? Shoot it. Retrieving them down there. See that's bent up there a little bit. I can tell that because it's supposed to be on the other side. It's thicker, so I'm going to leave that right there, I think, and bend that down. Yeah. We'll go with. It's good. How am I going to know that's flush? You can tell it's you can tell it's up a little bit. You can see the gap when I lay that on. There's a little gap there, so knock that off. Oh! I forgot I wasn't holding it. <laughs> I forgot I wasn't holding it. Here we go. Get that back in order. I like that better. I like that. Turn it a little bit. I see that's it. All right, you know what that calls for? Doing it again. Ah. Let go of it too early, that's all. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Awesome. You know, I couldn't have done that again if I tried to make them both fall at the same time. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is take a look here. Just taking a look. That pipe seems nice down there. All right, that's got to go up some by the looks to be level. Uh, that, thank you very much. Turn that off. This will tell the truth. It's kind of half scary for me. It doesn't go on there like that. This needs to be turned out just a little bit. I had to cut some off that last time. So it has to come up. Good. Happy. Um, I want to pry that up to make that level. Happy with that. Mm, I want to measure that out there is what I want to do. And put a level on that. There's a the level. The square. See the square anywhere? 
I'm going to put a couple tacks on that because if I don't, it's going to fall off again. I'm nervous. Put another tack on that. That there should be fine, I'm hoping. A little bit more in the corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pry around and play with this now. I'm going to pry it up and down to make it level and then make, make a running board for it. It must be helping. I'm just going to tell him I'll be a minute, okay? Just be a minute. I want to make that running board. I want to make that running board. Which way do you go? I go that way. <laughs> I'm just running. Right? <laughs> Hey, Alvin. How you doing, man? You, you want to give me 10 minutes? I'm just doing the radio. Give me 10 minutes. Cool. Good to see you driving, man. That's awesome. Alvin's driving wheels, man. That's cool. Alvin had a skidoo accident, and uh, it kind of left him not be able to walk, and uh, now he's... He's on motion again. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, level there. That's what I'm going for there. Let's carve this pattern. Well, I got to make the piece for the back. Carve this up. I want to cut this out. We'll cut that out. Lay that on. How much time are we? 53. Okay. Fifty-three. Maybe I shouldn't have done so much talking. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do when I get the old plasma cutter out and cut you? Ha <laughs> ha. Alrighty, glasses. Got a sheet of metal somewhere. Right over here. Hmm. Cool. I wanted to do something. Uh, bah, 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 square. That's what I want to do. And you know what? I'm doing. <coughs> I'm doing it right in front of your eyes. See the tape measure at all, sweetheart? Right over there. I gotta. I gotta check it out on the. You know how wide. It Good thing the customers lenient. Well, that baby, huh? Six inches, and six inches from the thing. Six inches, I'm out quarter of an inch, so that means I'm out an eighth. I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know what I could do is unhook that, bring it out just a little tiny bit, and then I could have my, I gotta do it. <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> it doesn't, does it matter for an eighth? I don't think so, not for an eighth. Eh. So that, and, that, and that's the issue you have sometimes, right? When <clears throat> that's my measurement. 
plumbed up on that and on the table, we're at five and three quarter. The measurement should have been six. It's kind of half a dozen one or the other, you know, like quarter of an like quarter of an inch. I don't want it to fall off the back down there. That's one thing I don't want it to do. Bum, 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 bum. Tribes and tribulations of building a car, see? Would you cut it? No? Joanne wouldn't cut it, she said. And I love her more than you guys. <laughs> ah, that's what I'm going for. We'll just <laughs> Does that make sense? That makes sense, don't it? Yeah, it makes sense. That there's on there like so. I don't like how it fits inside there, to, to be honest with you. Like, hmm. Marker. I'm going to cut this piece of metal, get this lane on. Where is that marker at? Then on the other side, I got another pair right here. Nose trimming hairs. Hair trimming nose. Nose trimming hairs. I don't know what to call. Cutting hair in your nose. You got me one of them yesterday. What is it called? Made me feel all fuzzy inside. Like I had prickles inside my nose. Like there was a porcupine living up in there. Pardon? Nose hair trimmer. Yep, porcupine living up in there. So he can stay there, but he has to keep it fit and tight. There we go. Come to chill. That's not real good in the center there, is it? Push it a little bit back. That feels good there. Put a little tape in that centerpiece. Where's the centerpiece? Where's the tape at? Looks good there. Take a little off and add a little to it. <laughs> you know, what's the difference? As long as you're happy. There we go. Don't want to sit down on the ground, but it'll probably end up there. Let's get this on here. I've got to see. I've got to check something. Does that roundness fit there? Eh. It would be cut off, couldn't it? It could be straightened out, couldn't it? What I'm seeing is that could be straightened out there, is what I'm saying. So if I ran that straight, that straight, I'm hoping that we got it. Cut that bad boy. Bum, 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 bum. I just have to not hit the table, I guess. Air hose. I just get the air hose plugged in here. Got that plugged into I. Got that turned on. I'm hoping that it'll, it'll not kick out on me. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see what happens.
Sometimes that little hose gets you red. Liking that. Bring it up a little bit. Straighten that out a little bit there, across there. And I'm going to end it because I have somebody here that I have something we have to do. Um, we're going to give away a hat. And I want to thank you for coming and watching. I would have tried to finish that, and I will finish that today probably. Probably. I don't think if you want to see it twice, you can see it twice. You can if you like. But maybe not because we might not film it. Thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate it. Keep coming back and we'll keep doing more work. And we'll work as fast as we can to get it done in front of your very eyes. Here we go. We're drawing for a hat, just a hat. Hat or a t-shirt. Hat or a t-shirt. We're going to probably up this if the comments keep coming in the way they are. We're going to up it just to see how good we can become, and that's the only reason we went up it. We said it was 500, but we're getting up around 1,000 comments now, so I don't know. Once you, get, once you get so good or so far, you generally try to hit that mark every time, and um, that's what we'll probably do after a while, but we're still going to give away the hats and the shirts. Just We might up the comments just because we're doing so well. There's 968. This 968 this time. And the hat or the t-shirt is going to Pat Comstock. Just my opinion, that's a belly button, but you should replace the round rod with exhaust pipe to max to maintain the bigger roll of the body lines. I thought of that, yes I did. But as as we look at this fender, come look at this fender. When See, I, I, I've got this much roll here. I've got that much roll. I cannot get that with a piece of exhaust pipe. Um, I cannot, and also what it does is, if I get that roll there, this is the roll right here. This is the flat part, this is the flat part, this is your roll. If I get that roll all the way in there, then I lose this. I get a little bit of it, but I want it all. And to do that, I just took a little bit. And when you notice when I put that patch on, on the other side, you watch, when I put this little uh, triangle up here, that triangle rolled over to this, to this line. This piece on this here rolled over to this roll. So it should feather out very nice and come into a sharp roll down like we want on the car. When there's, yeah, it is, it, it, could, it could have been done. Yes, it very well could have. I could have put a piece of exhaust pipe on here, rolled it up here and connected to the fender. Yes, I could have. Did not have the gear to do that. I do not have the machine to bend that piece of pipe. Um, and also, that piece of exhaust pipe would have given me a little more roll, but in actual fact, with the two pieces coming together on the round rod, round it off in a little bit of filler, I will get that roll that that exhaust pipe would have given me. So that's where I went. Um, I did as quick as possible. And you are right. I could have put a piece of exhaust pipe in there but did not have that gear to make that roll. Uh, you can get a piece of exhaust pipe that has a 90, but we want the effect that's on the other side, that swooping roll. When this comes welded together, the round rod together when it comes down there, is, I don't know if you notice or not, but on this piece here, on this piece here where it starts right here, this is flat. As soon as I started to bend that down, it made this, this shape move. I didn't want that shape to move. So what I did is I welded it back together and I bring this continue up and roll this over. This piece here is not flat. This piece is not flat. This rolls around the fender. This rolls around this side of the fender and I have a little crease, a little thing going down here. When I put a little filler on it, a little filler, I roll that off and I'll have a nice small roll going into the exhaust pipe. And I feel like it'll be fine. I'm going to have to fill it out anyways. If I spent a week making that piece, I still would have to fill it out. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to tell you. And you can see on the car itself that the roll is very sharp there. And I do not want to lose this. I do, not, I do not want to lose this roll to get this roll. 
So if I come in here, if I, if I come in here where this patch starts and come all the way here to get that roll, I've lost this. Because that is going with this. So I wanted this. If it had wanted this, I would have did that. But anyways, good comment, good thought. You're the winner. Chicken dinner. See you later, everybody. Peace out. I wish I could have got them on, but I got to, you know, um, I had a friend I called, and I wanted him to come here to do something for me, and I got to go. Got to be that guy. Got to go see him. Thanks.